Hey folks, Joseph Sabora here. I'm finally back. I never left, but I definitely had to spend my entire summer vacation just relaxing, having fun, even though I've been very busy doing exactly what I always do, post-commercial breaks that I found online, even the ones that came from my VHS tape that I just captured from my brand new capture card that I had to hook up from my mom's VCR and all that. And sometimes I even captured something from my DVDRs that I got <laughs> and I had to play them on my Blu-ray player. Yeah, so on and so forth. So yes, there was like tons and tons of commercial breaks that I had to post. Even the ones I had to find on other websites that I've gone to. And all the trouble I had went through as well. Yeah, in fact, I almost got caught by that. And it sucks. But I'm doing what I do best to keep everyone happy. So I definitely wanted to share for everyone. I understand. You know, not everything is mine. But... I had to pay the consequences these days. I know it sucks. Anyway, I'm actually sitting down on my brand new, very comfortable couch that we just purchased at Macy's at the Eagle Rock Plaza in Eagle Rock, California, which is now permanently going to be closing down. Uh, I think due to... Um, several issues going around i think or possibly because you know that place is getting really old i mean this was built in the 70s uh 1973 to be exact uh, the same way they they built the entire mall and it looked like it really needed a lot of repairs um, i've taken pictures of it uh recently on that particular friday so it was only the last three days before they closed down on sunday so it really is going to close down for sure. It's not going out of business. Um, it's actually going to be around on every location in Southern California. As well, yeah, in the Southland, as well as any other. They're just closing the Eagle Rock location because of, you know, certain issues going around. That's all that matters. Gonna miss that store though because it used to be known as May Company. Yes, I remember it was a May Company back then. We we went there. We often get clothes there. Sometimes we get a mattress and any other accessories that we needed. It was a great place. I always get excited going over there just to buy clothes. Yeah, I do admit that. <laughs> um, I mean, whatever clothes I want to wear, that's perfect for me. So. It's now gone. I mean, it later became Robinson's May in 1993. And then later it became Macy's in 2006. Yeah, because they merged. But it still had the old school 70s feel to it. Um, it still had the same May Company look. So they didn't quite remodel the place as we've seen over the years, but... They did upgrade a lot here and there, <laughs> but now it's going to be gone. I think it's going to become maybe a different store. I don't know what or when. They might probably end up doing tons of repairs, you know, maybe they're going to fix something. I don't know, but it is a shame that that Macy's is gone. And, and now we have the Macy's still around at Glendale Galleria. Um, the Burbank Town Center and, and other locations around. So we're cool. So at that rate, um, we've been looking for a couch for a long time. And boy, did we ever. And it's really getting harder these days because of how expensive they are. So we found this one particular beautiful couch that I'm sitting on right now. Um, maybe I'll just show you right here. Anyway, this is the entire couch all the way around. Yeah, this is the perfect spot where you have to lay down and relax. There's a recliner right there that you can also relax too because it has a motor inside. 
and there's another one too and it's all together it's all blends in nicely with all the pillows and covers around yeah so my mother's now going to relax on this and, and fall asleep so we can get to sit down whenever we want oh wow and of course lucina loves it too <laughs> Yeah, but right now she's just looking around. <laughs> oh yeah, and then there's this uh, this great cover right table right here, so so we can put our stuff in there. It's very beautiful. Lucina just loves it somehow, which is cool. I'm I'm happy. I was just so relieved that we finally got one. Especially when we're now going to find a new place pretty soon, too. Yes, I, I did mention this in 2021, but we haven't found a place because we're having a hard time looking for one. It's especially in California where everything's just costing way too much. But I just hope we'll finally find one and we don't have to worry about this. But we're going to be moving a lot, a lot of stuff. I mean, my body was aching having to move in sections, you know. You know, we got my brother Jason to join in to, to help, uh, along with my mom. So we, we all just pitched in, picked up fought each of them upstairs. It was a pain in the butt. I couldn't believe it. I was so tired after that. And then we had to move a bunch of stuff. We had to reorganize this couch very well so it'd be perfect. Uh, the only thing that's blocking, however, is the heater right there and the air conditioner. So I know it, it just makes this entire living room rather small. But what can we do? I'm sure that when we find a new place, the living room will be a lot bigger. And it'll be more comfortable and see how well it'll fit perfectly for this big couch that we got. <laughs> so I'm happy for that. So, you know, throughout the summer... You know, my sister graduated from UC Irvine, and what a relief. Uh, very proud of her. Um, been too busy uploading commercial breaks as usual. Been finding them online, everywhere, even though I got into bigger trouble somehow. That sucks. Well, half of the videos I posted were from my VHS tapes uh, that I used my capture card device, my brand new one that I got from Amazon, as you already know, um, where I had to borrow my mom's BCR to capture those tapes and see how they perform onto OBS Studio. Yeah, which I know it's always has some issues with the sound and in the the picture right away, but it's but it does capture perfectly. And on top of that, um, I had to find some more commercial breaks that are so rare these days, especially the Los Angeles ones, all, all the local Los Angeles stations with commercial breaks, taking it back to the 80s and 90s. I wanted to find them online right away because, you know, I grew up with them, as we know, and plus I wanted to share for everyone, for those who, who grew up in this area, and for those who watched them back in the day, I mean, especially for those who were born in the 70s. But for the ones that were born in the 80s, I, you know, we were just babies. Hard to believe. <laughs> yeah, so I thought that would be cool to do so. And I'm still posting videos on my Bitchu channel, just trying to keep up with that. So That's why I didn't have much time posting movie reviews, even though I did want to see movies. Yes, I went to see other films that came out that summer. I just didn't have the time to post anything. I know it sucks, but I'm just such a busy guy. I just never have time for myself. So, cause I had to do some errands. I had to take care of the family here and there, so on and so forth, you know, that's why. It, it was been major, we had a major heat wave though that was going around and, and even worse, uh, there was this hurricane Hillary going around that they've been talking about, um, which I know that seems rather ridiculous to happen, you know, during the middle of the summer, but it was raining for a while. 
and we were afraid that the power was going to go out so we had to get some led lights to make sure so that's turning out great and all that <laughs> so what a summer <laughs> But yeah, the movies I have went to see, basically summer movies. You know, I went to see Spider-Man uh, Across the Spider-Verse. I think that's what it's called. And um, and then there was uh, Transformers, Rise of the Beast. Uh, I also saw Elemental and Indiana Jones and The Dow of Destiny. Yeah. And there were other films that I got to see too for a while. Um, I just, I mean, any movie to list on, I, I'll, I'll probably take my chances. It's just, now, now I'm going to be like joining a new program someday. I don't know if that's going to happen, but I'm actually planning on, on joining a program where I'm just going to be like working. It's, you know, having to deal with these Zoom meetings, uh, for, for a class. Um, it, it has to do with the films that I'm planning on doing so maybe this is going to be a special program that's just like inclusion films uh during that last decade that i went on so maybe this program that i'm taking might be even better i don't know but because i really would like to go out and just you know work with with this entire team so again i don't know if this is going to happen but but i i just hope i do get a job that'll be so successful for me and this will be perfect for me to keep up with it so i'm probably just going to be busy uh, i'm not so sure if i'll be able to post any more videos but we'll see what happens and maybe i might still have a chance to post some movie reviews who knows but we'll see yeah that's why i haven't been doing much lately other than just posting commercial breaks and the last video that was recorded was of course a firework video yeah, firework video uh, during the 4th of July weekend. So we were going now, we were watching some fireworks. So I took a video of that. Yeah, it's just to so much, uh, so much of a hazard going around during the summer. I mean, a big heat wave going around and, you know, I had to blast off this air conditioner, which causes a lot of uh, humidity. A lot of humidity going around, um, a lot of leakage, all that water leakage, and I had to dump all that water out, to make sure everything gets fixed. And unfortunately, the bent got, yeah, one of the uh, bending tubes that hooks up to the portable AC unit got busted. It broke into pieces, so we had to replace it with uh, another one that was coming from another portable AC unit that we had that we no longer used. So this was the only way to, to go, but so far so good, uh, nothing went wrong. And we had to f fix everything that we did. So, wow. <laughs> but as usual, you know, we, we did went out, we, we did got to go out to hang around. You know, we, we bought the scene around, you know, just, you know, we just go to the park or go to so many places to buy something, go shopping, do all this usual stuff. I mean, that's all we did. You know, I, I, I sometimes go out to get something at Dollar Tree or Big Lots or any other place. If, if there's any movies available to pick up. I mean, I know money's getting tighter these days. So who knows if I'm going to start buying even more titles very soon. I hope I will. And I just hope someday I'll, I'll get another external hard drive so I could put all my files in there so I don't lose any more data all, all, all my data files that I that I'm clogging up on my laptop that I had for for like over 11 years uh, or actually 12 years to be well it, my computer dates back to 2011 uh, which is the Dell Inspiron but still <laughs> it's, it's it's taking a lot of time so, because I know my brother Jason had to upgrade my computer to make sure everything's all right. You know, it speeds up and add more storage space. But I'm hoping there might be some better ways. I don't know. Uh, but I definitely need to get another external hard drive. You know, that 
maybe the two or four terabyte, I don't know. I love to get another one so I can save all my files, especially all the files that I worked on to post on all these videos on YouTube, as well as BitChute, so for sure. Anyway, um, I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.